also new this half hour, a new Republican-backed budget plan passed by a state House committee this morning after two hours of debate. Democrats say the over $27 billion package is a gift to big businesses that will hurt public schools and those who rely on social services. The plan calls to reduce business taxes, slash funding for county-run social services, and those cutbacks have nearly everyone concerned, including officials in Happy Valley. That's where Bill Waddell joins us live. And Bill, some Democrats rallied against this new Republican plan. Yeah, Jen, that's right. They said that economic bubble burst a while ago, and the tax base here continues to shrink, and there's little room left to build within borough limits. We are hurting. Uh, property tax, you know, we'd have to make it astronomical to begin to cover our, our real expenses. We can't do that. Mayor Elizabeth Gorham joined other local Democrats in the shadow of Old Main to criticize proposed cuts by Republican leaders that they say will hurt communities struggling to break even, like State College. We need a, um, some kind of an alcohol tax here. We don't have it at all. Uh, and yet our police and enforcement uh, costs are more than half our budget. The proposed state budget does not include tax hikes, but Commissioner Michael Pipe is worried that more cuts to human health services would hit the county hard. Even if the governor would uh, cut, uh, if the 10% cut would go through, we do see a reduction, uh, we would still back fund it, without a doubt. But we shouldn't, but it's my belief we shouldn't have to make that decision. Governor Corbett shouldn't pass the buck down to the local level. The main criticism, Governor Corbett's proposal to eliminate $100 million in accountability block grants for local schools. We need to train the high school students to get into, into college so they will be ready for those jobs. So it's a jobs and economy issue. It's our future. Governor Corbett warned us of tough times ahead, but he promised that he would stand behind education funding. And the clock is ticking on all this. The $27 billion budget deadline is quickly approaching. Midnight this Saturday. Live in Center County, Bill Waddell, 6 News.